And hey, what's up everybody? Uh, playing a little bit in the sun here and want to talk about modes. I'm currently trying to um, truly understand modes on a deep level because, and I think I've made a couple breakthroughs in the past months, so I wanted to share it with you. I'm not a master by any means uh, in modes, but I think I did kind of figure out some things that I feel like will help somebody. I'm trying to make it as short as possible because I only want to give like short bits of really quality info to hopefully push you over the barrier, right? And um, so we're talking about modes, we're talking about beginning to understand modes. And I feel like first thing is, is this. So understand the order of the modes, the hierarchy. Because to me, all it really is, so it, you, you see, I don't know if you can really even see it out. I'll just listen to the description, but basically just m memorize this in a way, but I'm also going to kind of show you how I've memorized it. Um, so, well, well, if you look in the description here, you can go along with me. It's Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, and of course Ionian again. So... Um, first, let's go over how to remember this, because I feel like that's something that isn't, uh, I know there's many different ways that people can go about it, but let's, I feel like just understanding it, uh, first is the most important thing and, and remembering this order. And so the first part is that I, I just remember Ionian because it's, it's, it's the first thing. It's the very first thing. It's a major scale. I just remember it. Dorian, I think of dose. You know, I just think Dorian, dose. Again, this is how I remember it. Um, maybe it'll make sense to you. I hope it does. Um, but you need to find your own way to remember it because it's going to be super important because, and, I, and I'll go over it in a second. But just just for, for this, um, you just want to figure out a way to remember it. And I'm trying to give you my way. So um, the next is Phrygian. Um, for some re reason, I just think Pythagoras, and I just think triangle, and triangle is three sides, and I, I and I'm assuming it has uh, also has some type of Greek connotation because I believe these are Greek, so you know with Phrygian, so um, Lydian, I actually just think I know Mixolydian is five, and Mixolydian is is the fifth degree of the scale, of of that's where Mixolydian comes from, and that's where it comes. That's, that's where it is in terms of how you need to remember it um, from your original major roots scale. So uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But, you know, mix, mixolydian is five. So lydian is one less. So I just take off the mixo. Lydian comes before because it's, it's not as big or something like that. Again, this is how my, my mind works. And I go mixolydian, so that's five. So the one before it, which is a is is a not as big as a word, is literally half. It's so it's before, and I just think lydian, uh, because and the reason I can kind of keep that tr on track is uh, aeolian. I know is the minor scale, which is two degrees less than um, than any of your major scale, right? So that's how I always, that's how I, I, I know I won't get mixed up. And Locrian, uh, uh, I just think Loki, Loki is last. I don't know why that comes to my mind. But, you know, Loki from the Avengers, I don't know, don't ask me. That's just what I think. Lo Loki is last because he always seems like a guy that gets the short end of the stick. Um, and... And that's how I keep it. I mean, I just, I, and I know that Locrian is literally everyone's worst nightmare when it comes to scales. Everyone hates that scale for some reason. So I just think that it just falls under the last, um, and, and it's kind of sad, but, um, then, you know, then you kind of just, there's things that you will always remember. So uh, Ionian and Dorian is dose. I always think Dorian is the second, right? And Phrygian uh, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, and Ionian. So I just, that's, that's the way I remember it. But the, the biggest reason that you need to memorize that order is because it'll help you understand, it'll help you understand, um, the guitar theory overall. Because if you know that Dorian is, Dorian is dose, which is the second, which is, it is, it is the second, um, 
like so if we have a whole major scale right you have all these positions basically i look at all of these as like like p like all of these are just like position all the different positions of this so you have a major scale and you know you have all these different positions you know when you go through you know. So you have, you know, that you have all these different positions. Well, all of these come into play. Like all of these are the different positions of the neck. That's how I see it. And 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 you just start from that position. So we we have, uh, so if if you want kind of like an easy way to uh, to uh, or easier Dorian. So like a Dorian, which is dose, which is which is, the, so for a Dorian, it would be G major because it's G. A, right? So G. If you if you start from G major, the next interval is A, um, which is uh, which is you know, so which is where you start for Dorian because it's the second. Um, it's it's basically the second. I, I'm not. I'm kind of. I'm not sure what the right term is, but I just know that it's the second note, and that's the that's you use that as a root to start on. So. And then you ju you just focus, it, but if you know the major scale, like the G major, and then because you, the really the biggest thing is understanding the major scale, like understanding it to a really g a good degree. So whether it's C major or G major, just memorize one scale, and you can work. You can just uh, even when you're doing like a Dorian, right? So like A, this is A, um, and you're doing a Dorian. You would just you would you if you knew the G major scale, then you would know a Dorian, uh, the position automatically. All you would be doing is just starting from the A root. So, this is the G major scale. So, A Dorian would be. That's where you would start. You would start from the A, right? And I think I kind of messed up there on the on the A, but you would just keep the G major scale in mind. Understand that it's the A root that you start from, and there you go. You have, you you basically have the rest of the Dorian scale. Uh, you would just be using the A the A Dorian uh, because the, the G major scale is what makes the A Dorian scale. You're just starting from the A root. See what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. Um, again, I I, uh, I I definitely am not a master at the modes yet, but I am so excited after I made that kind of revelation of really the found. If you just know the major scales of foundation, like I would say, spend way more time focusing on just one major scale, figuring that out and going the and, and and doing the whole whole half whole 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 half interval and really getting that down like literally go whole whole so whole whole half whole 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 half to figure out like and on on and try to figure out like pick one scale figure out all across the neck and then uh at least for sim simplicity purposes, I would choose either Dorian or Mixolydian, like five or uh, or two, or you know, just honestly, just start with Dorian or something, and then just go from there. And and then because it's only two, uh, and you most likely know the second position, so 
This is like the first position of the G. But so the second position is right here. I mean, you were doing most of it already. See, I'm, I'm already trying to resolve the G all the time. But, um, but that's okay. I mean, um, you, you know, that's why you start with A. See what I'm saying? So I hope that helps. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments if it does. Um, memorize it memorize this focus on the major scale and then all of these you can figure out i mean you just need to know like ione is one those uh, dorian is two phrygian is three so if it's if phrygian is three then in your and you like the g major scale then go one g a b one two three okay so if you know the g major scale here right then that's So that's that's the Phrygian scale, right? But that's in. But I, I'm only I'm I'm kind of using G. I'm using G major as like the full map, and then I'm just kind of like, just trying to make the, the um, the B as a focus because that the the B is what is you know that's B Dorian. So that's that that's that's the focus. I'm trying to make that the focus. Um, so, and, you know, I could figure that out with, uh, with any of the others, if I wanted to play Mixolini or whatever. But a lot of times, and what, what you'll see with a lot of songs too, like with ZZ Top, is that they choose, they choose things, they choose keys that are a bit easier, that are not so, like, sharp and flat heavy, um, so they, they can play easier. So, like, even Billy Gibbons, he'll play in, like, A major, but... Uh, that'll be A, B, C, D. That'll be E mixolydian. You know what I mean? Um, but it's not that big of a deal because if you just know A major, then you know that you know all the positions of A mix uh, E mixolydian already. You just don't like you almost like just don't know it yet. You just need to start from the E. So I hope that helps. Um, I tried not to make it too long, uh, but uh, yeah. So I hope that helps. Please subscribe. Um, you know, comment on the video. Let me know if this helped you. I'm trying not to do so many just short videos. I'm trying to do some longer videos too that'll be educational, but also like maybe helping other intermediate guitars kind of break through to the next level too. Uh, so I am doing everything I can to do. So thanks.